which is crazy to think if you think about it okay so that's the ui and uh, we are going to be using olama uh, to uh, serve the model so depending on your os uh, we can download olama so i will be uh, downloading the windows version so after you uh, finish downloading you can click it and it will start uh, installing olama so i'm gonna speed uh, through this quickly so after you install olama you can run olama run 3 olama run llama 3.2 and once it fetches the 3 billion model you can ask something like how are you to make sure uh, that the model is downloaded properly um, and for the front end i'll be using streamlit so let's go to streamlit.io this is a really uh, easy way to build streamlit so let me open up visual studio code And we will be using a Python virtual environment to install um, all our libraries and frameworks. So open up a terminal, a VNV local chat. And type in Python hyphen M VNV local chat. And local chat will be the name of our environment. Let's wait for a few seconds. We need to activate the virtual environment so type in local chat slash scripts slash activate okay now we can see the virtual environment has been activated now we can start installing our frameworks so pip install streamlit so this will install the streamlit framework inside the virtual environment
now we can install um, langchain or llama so pip install actually let's install langchain before that so pip uh, install langchain let's run the application again streamlet run chat.py We got a response. Okay, now we have all um, the libraries installed. So let's ask something else, like write me a calculator program in. Oh, let's create a new file on uh, chat.py. And this is where we will be writing our application. Let's see if this gives a response. So inside the file, let's import streamlet. So import streamlet SST. Now we can write the title. Uh, Let's put something like and it's formatted chat nicely. with your chat with Scroll. llama 3.2 locally. Everything so this will be the title working. of the application. Now what I wanted to do is stream the response because as you can see, um, the response now, was slow. Uh, because we are we waiting need a for the way to save all the messages. So but if you stream um, it, let's we will type the if message is not in st dot session so state even faster. Um, so st dot session state equals like chat GPT. Um, so for that, so st dot session state message is equals and there's an array and inside the array you have a role and you have a content. And pass in the history. So session state session is something state like a global state. So it will be saved um, globally uh, write st um, write in the browser's screen. cache. And this is where we will store the all the messages from the user and the assistant. And uh, let's save the response from the stream. So that will be the whole response. And um, let's write of, for a message uh, in st.session state message. Um, and we uh, st.chat uh, underscore earlier, message. We can save the response. Uh, uh, message at, role the response to dot write subject, message content. Messages variable. And this is what uh, let's do the same uh, for that will dis well. display the UI of uh, the different messages. And let's. Um, Right. If so prompt, session state. Uh, if there's a prompt, st dot chat input, um, and this is what uh, this history. is what that is called. If there's a and, prompt um, in the text it input, will be assistant and the response. So if there's a prompt by the user, we have to append it to the messages. And also make sure. Uh, so yeah, all messages dot append raw user um, with um, content will be the prompt chat underscore message. Um, now let's in, inside the brackets um, assistant and make sure you intent. Uh, so let's import Langchain Olama. This is assistant. how we will interact with um, the Olama chat message. Uh, um, this will happen. Model that we just um, mm -hmm. uh, got downloaded from. Uh, La so let me run the application Olama. again. Streamlet run app. So let's create a chat Olama object. LLM equals chat Olama. Pass in the model name and the temperature. Now let's ask. Uh, Again, and after I, that, uh, we need uh, we need a message. As you can see, we got a streaming response. That means that so we will create another so variable in session state, which will store so it's much faster. Um, the history of messages. See, we got a chat uh, GPT like in a way that chat uh, Olama can read. Let's ask. So, uh, to, if history is not in session state, create history st.session state history. So I'm going to ask it to write at me an express server. And uh, with a slash chat on Lama um, displaying accepts, the server status. Uh, uh, it's not role, it's um, system, system, assistant, and wow. human. Those are the three things that um, there you go. chat Olama accepts. Now we have a completely local so chatbot running on your laptop. Um, um, Using the Llama 3.2. So the history model. type uh, system. Awesome. So yeah, mm, and then and that's pretty much um, it, guys. This um, is where you will give the make sure to like main instruction to the chatbot. Um, and if you guys have any other ideas, let so me know. So let's say something like below. you are a helpful assistant that answers users' question. And inside the prompt, let's append the user's prompt in the history as well. So append human uh, prompt, and it's not a uh, it's not an object. It's a it's a tuple. So let's make it round brackets. Let's put round brackets, and uh, it's same for uh, the human prompt. So let's put it inside 
round brackets um, oh and it's not colon it's a comma so remove the colon and put comma in between uh, now that we have a chat olam object we can invoke um, so llm dot invoke and you can we can pass in the history And we can save that in a response variable. And after that, let's write, um, after you get the response, we also need to append the response to the messages as well as the history. And uh, the content will be response.content. Uh, let's add the same to the history as well. Oh yeah, make sure the model is 3.2. And after that, uh, yeah, uh, append the response.content inside the history as well. And the role will be assistant. Oh, we also, we missed the chat message. So we have to write that all the messages um, so write type in st.chat underscore message user dot write prompt and same for the assistant so st.chat message assistant dot write uh, response dot content so this will uh, write the ui um, into the into the browser